Oh, hey, it's you. I'm Sal, your friend. We have just successfully finished our first season on my other channel, Salvidora. Now that it's all wrapped up, we prepared something new. This time, it's about you. We're gonna be talking about anything under the sun. Love, dating, relationships, spirituality. So I hope you join me in my new set, my other channel, and I'll see you there. Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. That's my vocalizing for my meetup. I'm quite annoying if you meet me in this in, in this lifetime in person. Okay. So I just want to give you guys a heads up ticket right there. If you want to get more annoyed than ever, meet me. Okay. Meet me so you will see how annoying I am in person. So yeah, so it's going to be the third week of November. If there's ticket, it's right there. So I hope to see you guys there. Okay. Yeah. People get annoyed, I feel like. I don't know. Okay? I'm just living my best life. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's why they get annoyed. Because someone is having a best life. <laughs> Maybe you're having that best life right now, Taurus. And people are just like that. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's going on with you guys here. It's for my Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Taurus. Let's see. That's what you guys are up to. The business, the Taurus business over here. Let's see. What happened? I was projecting a very vibrant energy and you guys got the worry card. Okay, who got the worry card also? Um, I feel like it was it was another earth sign. Is it I think it was Capricorn or Virgo? Uh -huh. now this energy is about well, one worry after the other, but you know, it's, it's for me, like fear is all illusion. You know, it's like, it's things that we cannot understand. Things that, uh, you know, chances are it just, um, you know, it, it doesn't, how to say this? It doesn't, when things are not clear, that's when we fear. That's what I always say. Things are not clear, we fear. Because when, even though things are bad, when you, we know it, at least we already know it. Like, let's just say, okay, nobody's sick, but you know, it's like, okay, the doctor hasn't told you it's like if you're pregnant or not. And, you know, it's like you haven't had your period for the past two years. You know, it's just like either pregnant or not. We don't know. <laughs> it's two years. <laughs> but you see that what I'm talking about? It's like totally nothing should be feared. But of course, fear comes with, you know, with everything that we do. So in this scenario, in the relationship, you're worried because of uncertainty. You're worried about what is going to happen next. What is this? What? But those are all in the future. If you look at it, you know, it's like clearly you're just in bed. There's nothing to fear. Clearly, you know, it's like you're alive. There's nothing to fear. But what is unclear is the future. So never, okay? You know, it's like th those things, let the psychic worry about the future because we try to see it for you guys. Okay, so that's where we're fearful of, you know? So, Nine of Swords here. Nothing to fear. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so this is how it's working here. Either... Okay, if this is you, you would know if this is you. You project that you're good, but at home you're worried. Okay? Like at home, it's like, oh my God, these people doesn't even know my stress. 
they don't have a clue but they always see me looking nice looking good and I'm just doing my thing I'm doing my thing I'm doing my thing but then you feel alone you know at night you feel like well I've been doing this whole thing this whole single blessedness thing and in reality I'm not happy being single as for some for others here nine of swords with a nine of pentacles you're seeing your person it can be vice versa you're seeing your person over here um being different to you like they're single and they're thriving and they're doing their own thing with the nine of uh with the nine of pentacles there okay nine nine of pentacles there um you're it's like if you guys have broken apart now you're looking at it's like oh my god like they're doing amazing you know they're happy and you know it's like then you have the nine of swords you're worried it's just like what i do what happened like what did i do you know you're having you're questioning basically mm -hmm. six of wands okay so again either you are projecting these two cards but this is your reality but if this is just you then this is the other person they're out there seeing other people or out there seeing other people but someone you know someone is just being um being them and people are liking them this can be you as an earth sign and your air sign is worried about that one someone here is having tremendous health success with the six of ones being independent also this is someone who's financially stable and healthy and people vibe with them here hmm. But you know how they say like, everybody has a story because this can be you, but this is your reality in life. Ace of Cups. Okay. Look at this energy. Okay. If this was a separation, you see, because this energy is going to meet someone. Ace of Cups. The Six of Wands with Ace of Cups. Okay. This can be you going to meet someone and this is who you have left. They're worried and stuck in fear that they miss an opportunity with you. You would know who you are, okay? So identify yourself if this is you or this is you. Because I'm feeling that there's this um, energy is separate. Now, six of ones here with the ace of cups, they meet someone new who's good, and you know, it's like, um, you know, it's like, well, they're gonna be happy, and then there's love over there. And now this person feels like they failed. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me see here. Hmm. Page of Pentacles, so whoever you have left is wanting to apologize. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Wants to tell you, wants to talk to you. Hmm. They want to express their feelings. Feelings of remorse though. This is trying to resolve something that has um, you know, been bugging them. Someone here is feeling bummed about a situation right now. Yep. Other person is single and healthy right there. I'm very much enjoying their freedom. Um, this news that you will get or that they will get. Uh, no, nothing, because I was touching my bracelet and of course I read omens, right? Okay, so if I were to read omens with you guys and it was, because this love bracelet, oh, yes, love bracelet. <laughs> it's um so i got because i call, i like it with the shabangles okay so I, feel, I i have to show it to you guys because i i read omens so you might feel like very very suffocated because this one normally it's not tight but it's so i mean like lately it's feeling tight okay so you might felt like you know either this person is feeling a lot of pressure with regards to love okay and um chances are you want some sort of freedom taurus or they want some sort of freedom and you know someone got their freedom and now they're enjoying their freedom also. This horse again, it's going in this direction. Someone here is really feeling, I got, I missed my opportunity.
Mm-hmm. First time that this comes out, Three of Swords, pop, it wanna pop down. Someone wants to forget about the pain of the breakup. They have healed from it. Someone here feels betrayed because the other person is already looking like good and seeing other people. Number three is your mind. It's all about that per. It's all about... Um, it can be a concern also that you're dealing with. Like you can't stop thinking about them. That they have, have, have someone else already. Someone here had someone else. And this is you, Taurus. Either you're playing catch up with them, meaning like you're trying to race, you know, before they meet someone else. Or you could be dealing with another Taurus, of course. But this is your card. You're also trying to just pass over the Three of Swords. I feel like you're, you're like, okay, let's heal the situation. I'm going to come towards you. And then, you know, it's like you want love to be extended. So it's a race. It's not a competition even because six of ones is not, um, uh, you know, it's like they don't date anyone right there. They're going to go to seven. They're going to start blocking people um, if they don't meet the person, but they're going to meet someone here. So either you get moving or this person gets moving because whoever you're dealing with or you're about to just meet someone new, it's a race in time. Someone's about to be with someone else and then the other person will be left in the dust. Okay, because the frequency of this person is single, attainable, and very much available. <laughs> That's what I can see here. All right, so thank you very much, Charles, for watching. Link down there in this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Link down there in the description box for the extended. <laughs> I'm so candid. I'll see you in the meetup. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Because this is someone who's showing compassion to themselves, like healing already from themselves. Hierophant. Yeah, so you're going to make a proposal here. Someone here is rushing to propose before the other person gets involved with someone else. Okay, because you, you both of you wants this, I feel. That's why I said it's like what happened to the Ace of Cups?